everybody. I'm Giuliano. I'm Juliana. I'm Gabby. And I'm Julia. We are the Eliotti Passi family, and we're from Brazil, and we speak Portuguese. We're here today to teach you how to say hello in our mother language. Hello in Portuguese is olá. But if you want to say hi, it's oi. So repeat after us. Olá. olá. Thank you, Passy family. We appreciate learning how to say hello in Portuguese and for being a part of our children's service. Welcome, boys and girls. This is the Pentecost edition of our children's service as we celebrate the very important church festival of the Pentecost. Let's begin by remembering our baptisms in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. So why are we learning how to say hello in other languages? The reason we're doing that today is because of what happened on that first Pentecost. The Pentecost is the day that the Christian church started. The Holy Spirit fell on the apostles and they began to share the message of Jesus and his love to all the world. Let's begin our children's service by hearing that Bible reading from the Bible. Let's look at the book of Acts chapter 2 beginning at verse 1. When the day of Pentecost had come, the apostles were all together in one place, and suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So on that first Pentecost day, the apostles were able to speak the gospel message about Jesus and his love, and many people who spoke many different kinds of languages were able to understand. So to help us celebrate Pentecost, we're learning how to say hello in several languages. And later, we'll even say the Lord's Prayer in another language, in addition to English. Let's continue our children's service with Deaconess Yi from Milneck Manor School for the Deaf. She'll share with us how to say hello in American Sign Language. Deaconess? Hi everyone. My name is Deaconess Phyllis Yi. My sign name is a P, the letter P, with a cross. I work at Milneck Family of Organizations. I work for Lutheran Friends of the Deaf. At Milneck, we use American Sign Language to communicate with one another. If you want to say hello in sign language, all you have to do is put up both your hands. Hello. Try it with me. Hello. If you want to say have a nice day, all you have to do is have a nice day. Why don't you try it with me? Have a nice day. I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for sharing, Deaconess. We're grateful. So every week in our children's service, we have a Bible memory verse. We try to learn a new Bible memory verse each month. We can keep these Bible verses in our heart as we continue to grow closer to Jesus and his love. Do you remember the Bible memory verse for May? We've said it for a couple of weeks now. That's right, it's from the Psalms, Psalm 23, verse one. And the Bible memory verse says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So many of you remember Wendy Sue. She's a friend of our congregation, and she has sung at our church on several occasions, and she's also been a part of our children's services. And so she would like to join us now and to sing a song with us on this festival day of Pentecost. Wendy Sue? We get to sing again. 
to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ, who died for all of our sins, then he rose up from the grave, and then he ascended, went up into heaven to be back with God the Father, plus he sent his Holy Spirit to be with us and help us live for him. We're gonna praise this Jesus with actions once again, King and Lord, Jesus, glory and hallelujah. King has your thumb between your fingers like this, King of Kings, Lord is Lord of Lords, glory looks like this, glory and hallelujah. And then you know Jesus, Prince of Peace, glory, hallelujah. We'll sing the song three times through, the first time slow, and then we're gonna speed up the second and third time. Follow along and let's praise Jesus together. sing one more song for us later that would be wonderful mrs. Marino is our friend we know her and she is going to share a message now from God's Word for this festival of the Pentecost mrs. Marino Good morning, everybody. we are so happy to be with you we're so happy to be with you Gigi. on this Pentecost Sunday can we say Pentecost Pentecost. very good let me hear you say it Excellent. Pentecost. Say it again. Pente. Pentecost. Very good. On this Pentecost Sunday, this morning we're going to talk about God, but we're going to talk about God being a triune God. Three in one. Let's count. Ready? One, two, three. Three in one. The triune God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Spirit. When we think about God the Father, we think about God being a creator. It is God the Father who made the world that we live in. Look at this picture, Miss May, with the earth and the sun and the moon and the stars and the sun. And the sun. And what about over here? What does God make? Apples. Apples on the trees. Fish. Fish. A tree. A tree and the Mountains. Oh, the mountain back there and the birds. That's right. God made the earth. He made all the beautiful and wonderful parts of our creation. God the Father made us. When we think about God the Son, we think about baby Jesus born on... When was he born? Do you remember? Jesus. That's right. Christmas. Baby Jesus was born on Christmas. And the angels came... The angels came to tell the shepherds the good news that Jesus was born. We also think about Jesus dying on the cross on Good Friday. And he died on the cross to save us from our sins when 
he rose from the dead on Easter Sunday. Here it says, Jesus is alive. They rolled the stone away and the angels popped out and said, he's not here. He is risen. He is risen indeed. We think about God the Son, Jesus being our Savior. And God the Holy Spirit is what we're going to talk about today. When we think about the Holy Spirit, lots of times we think about the Holy Spirit being a dove. You can see right here. This page is from a part of the story where Jesus was baptized. Look, he's in the water and his cousin John put some water on his head. And God sent a dove from heaven and said, this is my son. I am pleased with him. The Holy Spirit is what enters us, enters our hearts to stay with us when we're baptized. On Pentecost Sunday, the Holy Spirit came to the disciples, not as a dove, but as tongues of fire that rested on top of the disciples' heads. And it made the disciples be able to speak in many different languages to be able to tell the good news of Jesus to all of the people. Just like Jesus' disciples on Pentecost, we each have been given the Holy Spirit too. In our baptisms, the Holy Spirit has filled us. And the Holy Spirit is with us every day and helps us to share God's love. Let's take a look at what I've got with me today. What do I have? Uh, a flashlight. A flashlight. That's right. I have a flashlight. Would you like to turn it on for me? Okay. <gasps> Click it again. Click it one more time. Oh, my goodness. I brought a flashlight, but it doesn't seem to be working. Hmm. Click it. Try it again. Why would my flashlight not be working? Why? Uh, something inside there? It's empty. What's supposed to go in here? Do you know? What's supposed to go in here? The batteries. The batteries. That's right. Silly Mrs. Marino. Let's try it again with the batteries. All right. I put the batteries in. We'll close it back up. Oh, I don't even need to finish closing it. Did you see that light shine? Look at that. I would say now, try it. Click it again for us in it that our flashlight, do you do it? Oh, it works, <laughs> look at that, it works. Did you know that we are kind of like this flashlight? We have a light inside of us. That light is God's love, but we need batteries. We need the Holy Spirit to help that light shine. That's what the Holy Spirit does, is it helps our light, the love of Jesus, to shine. We have each been given gifts by God. Gifts that the Holy Spirit helps us use to share God's love with all of those around us. Just like the disciples on Pentecost, some of us have the gift of language and can speak in many tongues, speak in different languages. But we also have other gifts. Maybe you have the gift of music, or maybe you have great athletic ability and can run very fast and are good at sports. Maybe you have an artistic talent and can paint a picture or sculpt something out of clay. Maybe you have a gift of words and can talk or write things beautifully to help others. Maybe you are a good listener and you have the gift of listening. No matter what your gift is, we can use all of those wonderful talents and treasures that God has given us to share his good news. And what is that good news? That God loves each one of us so much that he sent Jesus to earth to die on the cross and rise from the dead and ascend into heaven. And he has given us the Holy Spirit to be with each of us each day to help us shine our light for others to see God's glory. Let's pray. Can you repeat after me? Ready? Dear God, Dear God thank you for the Holy Spirit thank you for the Holy Spirit to be with us each day Please help us to use our gifts to shine brightly and show your love. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Goodbye, my friends. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Guten Tag. My name is Eileen Wilkinson, and I'm a third and fourth grade Sunday school teacher at VLC. 
My parents were from Germany, so I grew up speaking German. Now I teach German at Fairfield University and the German School of Connecticut. Guten Tag means good day or hello. Can you say Guten Tag? Guten Tag. Thank you, Mrs. Wilkinson. It's wonderful to learn how to say hello in German. We miss you and can't wait to see you again very soon. Let's join together in prayer. At the end of our prayers, we're going to join together in speaking the Lord's Prayer in Spanish, if you, don't, if you know it. And if you don't know it, listen carefully to the words. Maybe you'll learn it so that later you can say it. And then we'll say the Lord's Prayer together in English. But let's begin our time together by saying a prayer. Why don't you repeat after me? Dear Jesus, thank you so much for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Help me to share your good news with others. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Mr. Martinez will now share the Lord's Prayer in Spanish. Padre nuestro que estás en los cielos, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nos tu reino, hágase tu voluntad, así en la tierra como en el cielo. El pan nuestro de cada día, danoslo hoy. Y perdónanos nuestras deudas, así como nosotros perdonamos a nuestros deudores. Y no nos dejes caer en la tentación, mas líbranos del mal, porque tuyo es el reino, el poder y la gloria por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. And now we'll say the Lord's Prayer in English. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Wendy Sue has one more song to share with us. Wendy Sue? i 
gift then he left them this same Jesus who went to heaven is coming again he's coming again he's coming again hello my name is Matthew Martinez I'm currently the middle school science teacher at the chapel school, and I'm also the director of technology. Growing up, I spoke Spanish at home and English at school. So to say hello in Spanish, it's hola, and it's spelled H-O-L-A, hola. Can you say it with me? Hola. Hola. Great job. Thank you, Mr. Martinez. How wonderful it is to learn how to say hello in a lot of different languages. Thanks for joining us for our children's service for this day of the Pentecost. I hope you have a wonderful Pentecost weekend and join us again next time as we learn and grow in God's word together, even though we're apart. Here's a blessing for you and your family and your loved ones. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Bye, boys and girls. Have a great day. Hello is hola. Vamos cortar essa parte. And we are here today to teach you how to. I oh, know. They feel like we're from Brazil and, and we speak Portuguese. Ficou ótimo. Okay. Tá bom, Vamos de novo. Boom. Perfeita. É? Mais uma vez. Só mais uma. Então vai. Hello, everybody. And I'm Gabby. Gabby não é and. Eu tô aqui. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody.